What's going on, everybody? Welcome to this week's edition of the Six Gaming Podcast. I am your host, as always, Shosan. That's right, and I've got some really jacked up hair. I've been chasing around a three-year-old for the last few hours. <laughs> so. Whoa, you should you should not tell people about yeah, that. Yeah, dude, that's like that was a bad live. Let me reevaluate this. Well, anyway, before I incriminate myself further, I'd like to introduce my other host. While my dog is driving, in, we have a course into the hour the famous gold capped legend Mr. Pentherian what's up of course as always my fabulous co-host with this fantastic little turret behind him yes um and i am quite injured today injured yeah you and me both i got a bad yes. back so i can i'm playing with a 3 year old that's so uh, f- funny story here um, I was playing on the DCL a little earlier with the, uh, you know, just playing Descent like I always do, and mm-hmm. I kind of felt like like the back of my shoulder kind of like a little stiff or whatnot. It was like I ignored it. And this guy's like, let's play the smallest level possible with all these missiles and then multiply the number of missiles in the map by four, and we'll play that. Uh-huh. So like fun. the yeah. entire time he was chucking missiles at me and I'm trying to dodge them, and, of course, you guys know chair dodging works, right? Yeah, you know, yep. chair dodging, Always. you know, when you're doing this, you go, oh! And you look, you're trying to look around the corner, you know, it's, it's, it's chair dodging. That works. And I was doing way too much of that, and I really hurt my shoulder. Like, I can't, I can barely turn my head yep. much further than that, so. I know the feeling. I'm on flex roll for my back, and <laughs> I can't be playing with kids like this. But anyway... We're here. We are happy to have you guys. Oh, hold on. Hold on. What? Hold on. Oh, show sod. I We're know. playing with kids like that. I I do a lot of weird stuff. I'm saying, you guys, uh, um, if you have any questions, please direct them to my lawyer. <laughs> I am not a crook. I promise. <laughs> my friend's leaving, man. I, I had to go say goodbye. And yeah, she's an awesome little kid. I love her. Anyway. All right, let's start things off as we always do with yes, good news, everyone. God, I love. I love how you get so excited by that. I'm gonna be so drunk by the end of this podcast. I I love it. And my my beautiful (laughs) just brought me another beer because she is awesome (laughs) like that. So I am. I got a backup beer. We're good. Why would I not kiss up to you when you bring me beer? (laughs) <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sucking dog. She's, she's still muttering under her breath about how oh, I'm, I'm so a bad angry. person. I'm so angry that you're praising me. Right. Like, who does that? Anyway, all right. So, let's talk about something that I have been looking forward to for a very, very long time. Um, this is, of course, something very close to me because it has my second face and next to my wife, of course. Miss Harley Quinn and the new yeah. Batman. Arkham Knight is out! Oh, I was so excited. And then... You can't play it. What, what the wait, wait, wait. fuck? Wait, like, was this like WB. the Century Era 34 again? Oh, this is beyond. This is Uh-oh. beyond. This game is literally unplayable. Okay? For many people. I got it on PC. I pre-ordered it. Um, as I go in there... Um, uh-oh. So we might get a special guest, but apparently his internet's being retarded. So we'll see. Um, okay, so I download <laughs> Arkham Knight. Isn't... I am my internet's <laughs> absolutely bad, but I'm in North Dakota. He's in Idaho, so he has a little bit better. So I install Arkham Knight. I go in there, man. I am just excited. I'm thrilled. Right? Oh, this this game. First of all, you guys is uh, amazing. It's it, it's huge, right? For for this game, it's absolutely expansive, but it plays at like three frames a second. Oh, lovely! Yeah. So Get I'm like, okay. Well, I have a pretty beefy card, right? I I have this nice AMD 920X2. Um, it's it's liquid cooled for Christ's sake, right? And I can't play this game, so I'm thinking, all right, that's cool. I understand. Let me drop the settings. Nope. Completely unplayable. So I give it a few days, right? Just a couple days. Then I find a beta driver for uh, that AMD put out specifically for this game. 
if you guys have AMD, you're trying to get in there, go download this beta driver. This game is beautiful. I can play it now. I'm playing it at about 60 frames a second, sometimes 70, depending. Um, it's beautiful, man. The textures, the rain, everything. It's amazing. The problem is, apparently, according to the forum post, um, the some of the last levels, or the last uh, missions and stuff, are still broken. Now, WB, interestingly enough, did comment this on their forums, as well as some other places. They... He did say, we will apologize to those of you who are experiencing performance issues with Batman Arkham Knight on, on PC. Now, keep in mind, you guys, that even the console games were broken. But Oh, jeez. Yeah. How like, are, it, how it's they, bad. they said, we take these issues very seriously and have therefore decided to suspend future game sales of the PC version while we work to address these issues Ooh. to satisfy our quality standards. We greatly value customers and know that while there are a significant amount of players who are wanting to enjoy on PC, we want to do whatever we can to make the experience for PC better overall. So... That's serious. And, and they go like two more paragraphs. Um, talk about, you know, the Steam, that they are reading these forums on Steam, they're reading the forums on fan pages, they're reading their own forums. Um, yeah, this is like um, specifically, they said um, we have just put out a patch. This was on the twenty fourth. Um, um, so that uh, Arkham Knight on PC, so that you all can enjoy the final chapter of the Batman Arkham series as it was meant to be play played. Hmm. However, people are still reporting a lot. Of news. Um, um, so I just want. I how just do want you guys do this? I just want to point out that those uh, uh, catalyst drivers that you were talking about, I did link to them on our page yep. at facebook.com slash 6 gaminggg So if yes. you are affected by this, uh, go head over there, uh, check out the episode 20 event, and you'll see the link there. Now, he, I, don't, I don't know about you guys, um, but I'm not a big fan of, like, beta anything, unless it's, like, a beta game. So, like, beta... I agree. The drivers, I really try to avoid that just because I don't want to have to deal with the, the issues on my computer. Um, however, for whatever reason, AMD has usually hit it really well. Um, and their last few beta drivers um, fix a lot of problems. So yeah, definitely. This, one, this one they specifically call out the, uh, yeah. the Batman games. So like it was game. almost exclusively for. So that kind of um, says something, I think. But I'll, uh, I'll also point out that it, if it's on Steam and it is not available for purchase right now still. Yeah. Um, interestingly enough, I am a little bit upset. I'm about five or so hours into the game. I've been able to play off and on, and I still haven't seen my sweetheart, Harley Quinn. I know she's in here. I'm waiting. <laughs> uh, there are some interesting little surprises in this game, uh, some interesting little twists. So if you guys are all fans of the Batman games, um, check it out once it gets fixed, please. Um, it's amazing. It's really good. I'll buy it in a year for five dollars on a Steam sale. That right. works. That works. Who, who knows? By then your computer will be upgraded enough to be able to play it. It's an intense yeah. game. Like <laughs> it really lags my system down a little bit, but I'm just good enough to play it like it should be. All right. So um, okay, let's talk about root. Real world, um, because this stuff really does affect everybody. Um, now, we here at Six Gaming are fairly neutral. We all have our opinions, but as a show, we choose to remain um, as neutral as we can. Man, we're Sweden over here. Are you speaking in the plural, personal? <clears throat> as a well, show. As, as in a show. We. As a as show, the not the show. show. As the yeah. show. Oh, okay. Right. Okay, so... Um, uh oh, Dean's uh, here. What up, yo? Mr. Spryer himself. Welcome to the Six King Podcast, man. We love having you. We are, of course, live. I have to warn you. It's all good. Let me grab some uh, headset. Headset's good. All right. He's as ready so, to show us. Yeah, man. It's awesome. Like I said, he was having some internet issues. You got to give him a break. Okay. Well, just recently, the U.S. Supreme Court has ruled 
that gay marriage will be legal or should be legal across all 50 states. No state can ban gay marriage. Okay, you cannot make that illegal. So it's just marriage now. Well, yep. it is. It's not gay marriage, hetero marriage. It's just marriage, man. Let's let's be real. But okay, so there's of course been outrage against this. There has been support for this, and this is pretty much across across the world, really. Specifically across the world, you guys, Nintendo has just said in a Yahoo News article that the new Fire Emblem will allow for gay marriage. What do you guys think of this? Nice. Yeah, right? I mean, a lot of I games, mean, like all the Dragon Age games and Mass Effect games, there's always been same-gender options. Yep. So. Well, and didn't The Witcher, doesn't that allow it, or...? I don't know. I I don't, I don't play. Know. I there's, there's, there's more. There's more than just this game that's been doing this, but uh, yeah. it's definitely relevant in the context of this week. Well, especially yeah. I mean, it's a it's a new thing. Um, but yeah, that's. I thought that was a very interesting and it was something we should talk about. Um, Dean, you got anything? I mean, your take. No, you don't want to hear my take. I don't agree with it at all. But okay, that's fair point enough. Point a biological biological standpoint. So. All right. All right, well, so they're computer characters, so you don't right. have to worry about it. Well, I'm not just talking about that in general, just the whole thing. Well, yeah, Camera we can see your chest. Yeah, we we'll get into that later. Okay, there we go. So, in also relevant recent news, um, I'm sure you guys have heard about the whole Confederate flag issue that's been going on. Um, people who support it, people who who are people think it's racist, people think it's history. I could go on and on and on. But, of course, a lot of companies are trying to protect their assets. Specifically, they're um, trying Amazon, to protect their asses? Their assets. Their asses. asses. Both. <laughs> Both. All right, so <laughs> right after they found out that there was a lot of political support to get bag, um, Amazon instantly stopped sales. They started pulling stuff. Uh, Walmart started going crazy. Um, but then right here showed me a very interesting article about Apple. What the fuck did Apple do? They they uh, took off all Civil War games that display the Confederate flag. That's Wait, what? Jerk. That's what? Kind of crazy. What the fuck? That doesn't even make sense. Like, why? That You're literally talking history. Like, yeah. you know, that's just like... I don't... I, 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 first of all, yeah, I understand that freedom of speech doesn't apply to like corporations and whatnot. They, you know, they if they want to not say something or not sell something, they're perfectly within their rights to do so. But right, right. this is just this is just bad because you know th th this says that they're pulling something and they don't understand why they're pulling it. Yeah, I mean, it, I think like you said, it was a very knee jerk. Reaction, but that's a little extreme. It like is. they did eventually I mean, readmit the game. Okay, but, so so they, they kind of realized that they were dumb and did something about it. No, now Dean, I know you. I'm positive you played this. Maybe you haven't. Um, have you? You guys ever Redneck Rampage? No, oh, yeah, long, long time, time ago. ago. Yeah, right. Yeah. That game was purposely offensive. It was meant to be funny. It was just one of the worst games. But that's it's very prominent in that game as well. Like, that would be the same thing, even though they're making fun of Southerners, they're making fun of this stupid shit, they're saying, oh, we're not going to allow this anymore. Yeah, like, it's, it, it, it's obviously meant to be comedy, or the, these other games are obviously meant historical. Yeah. yeah. Well, and it's like, uh, I mean, uh, Dukes of Hazard, the General Lee car has had the <laughs> Confederate flag on it since forever. And it didn't matter back then, and supposedly now they're going to stop making that toy. Yeah, well, I heard they were even talking about trying to stop showing the car itself. Yeah, I, ha I, I have a, they had in a museum, and like that doesn't make where, any sense. Yeah, there's a point where it just goes too far. It's like just carry on with things that were already there that are like not glorifying it. That it's just, right. It's a part of just like the the medium. Like you know, it's it's not like. Uh, it just happens to be there, right, because of where it takes place. It's not yeah, that they're, it's, like, making a big deal about it. I don't know. It, it, it's frustrating. 
frustrating when I hear all this shit about like net neutrality, um, you know, freedom of speech, because freedom of speech is a big thing with us as gamers. That's that's our medium. That's that's what we enjoy. Um, can't censor that. You know what I mean? So when I hear that certain companies are, are fucking around with gaming, I mean, let's be real. I I'm getting angry. You know what I mean? That's well, but it's bullshit. their prerogative to, to they they can choose how they it, want to use speech. It is. I also but wanted I, to point I've out. I've never been a fan of Apple anyway, so. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> I also wanted to point out that I mean, uh, you know they take off the Confederate flag, but they leave all these uh, games that have the Nazi flag in. They didn't ooh, touch that. That's yeah. true. I can and still play. Uh, that, yeah, and that's that's really been the big uh, debate is that people are like, well, the Confederate flag is just part of history. I'm like, yeah, so it's a Nazi flag, but you don't fly the swastika just to talk about exactly. our heritage. Exactly. Yeah. So <laughs> it's just. Yeah, what Apple did was clearly wrong. I think they figured it out and reverse course. Yeah. We know. And, and I've brought you? this up a number of times is that, like, hmm? when they do something wrong and then they fix it, we need to applaud them for that instead of yeah. being like, you just did it because people were mad at you. Yeah. Do you know Mr. Silent over here? Uh, I'm just, just listen. Uh, honestly, I think that just people <laughs> in general are just, I, I think they're not. The thick skin mentality. Uh, you got too many givers, wanners, all that oh. stuff. So no, yeah, absolutely. people are just they complain to complain. So <laughs> that's a very yep. good point. Actually, that's that's really very true. All right, so we're done with the serious. Okay, we're done. We're done. Let's go back to our gaming. That's what we're yes. about here. Damn it! <sighs> all right, my favorite game, World of Warcraft. We just got a new patch. Game that banned you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay, so get this shit, right? I had to send in a letter, uh, a ticket to Blizzard, because after I created the second ship at the dockyards, I sent a mission, and my second ship got destroyed. That's part of the quest. But I did this before <laughs> I put this weird, yeah, this, this blast furnace or whatever on there. So I was stuck. I can't make a new ship, so I can't put this piece on there. I, I can't do anything. So I put in a ticket... And Blizzard, as, as much shit as I talk for them banning me for no fucking reason, you pieces of shit, um, <laughs> they were really quick to go in and fix that problem for me. So, hey, kudos on you. Um, yeah, so we did just get a new patch, patch 6.2. This is a true <laughs> content patch, believe it or not. Um, the Fury of Hellfire. They introduced a new zone, a new raid, which I don't mind. And saying Guild did really well for just walking in there the first time. Like, none of us watched a video, and we got what, three bosses down? I watched one live. Live. Okay. We got two bosses down. Okay. Was it, uh, was it only the two? We I thought it was got three. He, we got yeah. three. Yeah. Um, Fuck off. I was it we two got or three? three? Well, we got the, we got the gate. We got yeah. the uh, big mechanoid that comes up, and I yeah. we Iron tried Man. on the third. Oh, that's right. We were stuck on the third. Son of a bitch. Which one did you do third? Oh, uh, the... Uh, what the hell? The Chromoth or whatever his uh, name that's is. That's the one we did. Uh, it took us probably yeah. a day and a half of raiding to get him down, but we did get him down. It's a bit. Yeah, we only did it one day, so it took us a bit to even get it to where we were like, okay, we kind of figured it out, and now we're all dead. And it's kind of funny because that was the first yeah. fight. Um, I've been DPSing for quite some time with... Um, and strictly doing that with my new guild, but on the very last attempt, on our last night of raiding this week, I switched to heals. And we got him down healing. Now, I want to point something out <laughs> no here. Way. You healed former, him to death. Right? Not, former Six Gaming uh, member Dutchie was in there on her hunter. Oh, and yeah. she was dealing with the empowered, uh, those uh, runes on the ground that grow and grow. Oh, those And suck. I was trying to heal her through it, and I uh, somehow healed her to death. I don't know. I, <laughs> old habits it's, die hard. Ron, that is seriously, yeah, <laughs> your your whole way of doing things. So yeah. you're, you're really impressed. the main the main fights you should heal on are the dragon in Ice Crown, right? Uh, the dragon, <laughs> the night day dragon yep. in Terrace. Yeah, those yeah, are I'll those are two of the ones where you should be healing. That's where so Ron you actually heal them to death. Right. Yes. 
Ron shines. But yeah, um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm actually really impressed with this patch so far. Um, I'll, t- I'll tell you what I like about it. Um, I like the rating. I, yeah, uh, the rate is actually tough. The rating tough. Six like, point X has been really good, outstanding. Yeah, um, I like the... Uh, the zone for the the visuals. Um, yeah. It's it's definitely. Manjo's really cool. It's definitely really cool. What I am not liking is that this is a rehash of the same type of content that we had in 6.0. It well yeah. To the me, it's and all the well, daily stuff. It still very much rings of uh, the timeless isle to me. Which which I think I mean, is okay somewhat that. good because people like that. See, and yeah, people like that. People I didn't. I felt like it was another grind that I had to do in order yeah. to progress. And, and well, I didn't it's kind of a combination. That. Kind of a combination of Timeless Isle and the level 100 content for six, from 6.0. Yeah. Put together. I, I kind of like, by the way, that's, that's by the way first day I got my 695 weapon, I was very happy with that. I, see, I haven't even very tested happy. it, so congrats. Oh, um, yeah. We're losing a guy for another beer. You got the baleful items, and yep. you can and you convert them based on your uh, spec that you're selected for loot, and then for twenty thousand Apexus oh. crystals, you can upgrade it to a higher and the, level. And that's what I was gonna say, man. Those are really expensive, by the I, way. Uh, I've only got like ten thousand. I destroyed my. They bale. drop. They drop. Oh. oh, okay. Yeah. So um, then you just upgrade it, and you get a six ninety five. That's that's pretty cool. Uh, it's definitely good for gear, so I'll be doing this daily for a while, I think. That's even as much as I am not a fan of that type See, of play. Now, for me personally, I haven't touched it. Um, I hate initial patch days because you get that rush of people. I I hate constantly trying to pick up this one universal quest item that everybody's trying to get. Well, that hasn't been a problem. I that it hasn't was been a problem at all. It really hasn't. It, it, no, it's been nice. It was for me. Um, uh, their their Pearson campaign, people, yeah, it's the same as before where people get re- weekly ones. Now, I don't particularly like the fact that me and my wife are getting different weekly quests, but right. Um, I'm getting vertigo over here watching that camera go. <laughs> Sorry. Tino moving around. I'm on a laptop, yo. I mean, I, that's all I game on. It's all good, man. We appreciate you coming. But yeah, it's, it sucks that we get different weeklies, but at the same time, that spreads the people out so that not everyone's doing the same weekly. See, it was, it, I had a very different experience. I don't know why. It was literally that mad rush for everybody to be there all at the same time. I, I picked up the initial quest, the, the little alliance hub or whatever, yep. but I never done them. I have not done them yet. I'm actually going to try to do them tomorrow. That's as far as I've gotten. I refuse. I've been focusing on my docs as much as I could. And that's it. I, I hate the rush of people, which is weird because I'm playing an MMO. I know. But do you know? I what's understand. your experience? There, there's, too, there's too much well, people. Well, there's a thing that's too much people. Yeah, well. Well, after that first day, after about the first two hours of the service coming up, everybody just dispersed. And then about the time you had logged on, show, it was like everybody had showed the fuck back up. But now I'm gonna have to agree with them. Oh, it's frustrating. There's no, there's nobody around. In the first zones, okay. there's nobody around. I'll I'll jump in there. Like I said, tomorrow. Do it. I got some Smash Brothers outcast, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shake your head. I finally bought a Wii U. I know. Uh, I've got um, two. I just don't use it. <laughs> Dan, Pat, what? sorry, somebody. You huh. got anything? Oh. About about what? About six point two, man. Oh, that's I've, right. You like, kind of quit with. Uh, Holy crap! What is it with the it, special guests this week? We were just getting Hello. all kinds of people. God, we have the British Murloc. That's true. Hi guys. Hi, Hello. welcome. I love. I was just up at four thirty-one. I'm sorry. Just I'm real tired of hanging out. Four o'clock in the morning. Well, since we're on the subject, uh, why don't you give us your impressions of the six point two patch? I do no longer play well. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, 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 things change in 20 episodes. Now, I now what are you doing? I, I couldn't handle the garrisons and um, just the lack of anything to do, if that makes sense. That's understandable, yeah. 
Yeah, because six point one was such a great content patch. Right. I took one selfie. Yeah. <laughs> I I have yet to do that. I have it. Never to selfies. I think Fuck we that. need to kick Dan off the podcast for taking a selfie. Right. <laughs> all, <laughs> all those in favor. <laughs> So, Lorna, what are you doing now? I'm in uh, Marvel Heroes, which I'm loving at the moment. Ooh, yeah? I haven't touched What's that one. Anyway. All right. So, anyway, that, that's 6.2. You guys, let's move on to a game that I know very little about, but there's some very <laughs> exciting stuff coming. Let's talk Diablo 3 with our resident expert, Mr. Yeah, Runkley. Yeah. Yep, Diablo 3 is, uh, has announced pat the patch 2.3 PTR, and there's some neat stuff coming up. Yeah, it's um, cool looking. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually kind of excited about this. So they're adding another zone, Ruins of Sestron. I don't know what that's going to mean. I don't know if that's going to be added to another act or what. Some, it's like the Warrior Homeland or whatever? Yep. That's something it. like that? So it'll probably be added to like Act 3 or something. I don't know. Uh, um, but in this, they're going to have this thing called Kanai's Cube which is very similar, if you guys remember, the Herodric Cube from Diablo 2. Um, you're going to be able to put legendaries in this thing, strip the passive off of it, and give the passive to yourself. What? You can so that, that you can kind of like... Yeah, you're going to be able to do that with this. Uh, so, so you'll that way, you like, a bit. Yeah, well, if there's, some, if there's some legendary where you're like, oh, you have to have this one, then yeah. Well, it, isn't that. that like that ring or whatever that reduces your set bonus? Very like much. That's yeah. almost standard. Yep. Like you have that. So you well, can hold that. on. Hold on. My season three wizard does not use that. He uses focus and restraint, which gives a one hundred and twenty-five percent damage bonus hmm. when both are active. Interesting. And they can be active like all the time. So, um, they're updating the crafting system. I haven't really read much about that. Um, same with adventure mode. Uh, they're adding season journey, which is kind of a way to keep track of your progress throughout the season. Every time you hit a certain milestone, it will right. add to it and get a new um, uh, what is that portrait. Um, one of the bigger things that they're adding are new difficulty levels. There will now be torments seven, eight, nine, and ten added to the game. Nice. So, oh, finally. Holy crap. I might not be able <laughs> to spin to, to win. What do you mean finally? Like, of that? I can't even get out of Torment 2. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Torment 6, <laughs> level 43 rift. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. God. So, so, so I'm, I'm of two minds of that because, you know, like, like him, you know, I've had past heroes that are in the 40s rifts. Like, I, I think I did a two-player 45 with Durndon one day. <laughs> Jesus. Um, you guys. And it's... it's it would be nice to be able to have higher levels of play because Torment 6 is so easy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I, I can't even Torment 2. Like, I once you, guys. Yeah, but like, show, like, once you get your set for your class, right. as soon as you get that piece, uh, suddenly like T6 becomes trivial. And, and that's yeah. the problem. Like, I've never gotten a full set, like one piece, and I can never get anything else. So. Yeah. Well, they're adding new legendaries and new set items. Uh, they're going to be making some combat changes that reduces the amount of crowd-controlled monsters will tolerate. Uh, experience is going to be uh, leveled out so that things that are harder to kill give you more experience, stuff like that. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, this will be on the PTR pretty soon. Um, and I'm actually quite excited about this. this uh, they haven't made an announcement on when Season 4 will begin or when Season 3 will end. So Season 3 is still going on. Interesting. That's Diablo. Interesting. Very cool. Um, I hope they give more like stash space. Um, are you still playing Diablo pretty heavy? Who? Who are you asking? You. Dean. Yo. Am I still do playing still, it? Do you, yeah, I, I mean, like, what's your take on this? Three. I haven't played any of Season 3 yet. Okay. But, I mean, you sound pretty interested in this, so I was curious. Oh, heck yeah. Well, I stopped playing after Season 2 because I was like, well, it's the same thing. Meh. I'm good. Okay. Well, hey. Yeah. I got around that by playing yeah, this... a class I hadn't played before. Well, um, and I know okay. a lot of people who are very excited for this patch. And, and again, I'm not a Diablo guy, like, like I said. I get into it, but I just, I'll play it for like a week, and then I move on. So, yeah, I'll, I'll play it for like a block amount of time, and then I'll be like, I'm I'm over that now, and I'll come back. And yeah, it, 
It's fun to jump. It's like in and Starcraft for like Starcraft. I'll play it a little bit and then I'll go do something else. But yeah. it's still installed. So yep. anyway, um, so Ron. Yep, my right, boys drink. Let's talk about our League of Legends because, well, outside of our other two special little co-hosts that we have here, um, we have our six gaming fantasy league, of course. I, I'm not going to talk about Legends. that this week because I'm going four. What? Oh, hater. Okay, well, on the bright side, I am <laughs> two and two, you guys. Freaking two and two. I love it. i am actually got a decent team. Um, you know, I know you don't play... I'm hoping to beat you this week. Nope. I'm yeah. hoping to beat you this week because you have a 15-point lead, but I have five players left and you only have four. Yeah, unfortunately, so kind much of, of my team's kind of European. And but. Cloud9 got some free low this week by playing the Dragon Knights. Ugh. So, uh, anyway, uh, before, anyway. We get into, before we get into uh, LCS, we're going to talk about Tom Kench. Uh, Tom Kench is the River King, and he's the newest champion that's going to be hitting the rift. Um, yeah, he, he looks like this giant river beast that swallows champions. What? Yeah, he swallows champions, allied and enemy. Interesting. And when he does it to the enemy, he, d- he does extra damage. But when he does it to an ally, what happens is he's got this ultimate ability where he can just kind of like create this whirlpool and then go almost anywhere on the map, kind of like uh, Twisted Fate. But he can take an ally with him. So, is what does he play? I mean, that support. doesn't sound assassin. He is a support. Uh, he can also play a solo top lane, apparently. But he's going to probably be the next big support uh, that Interesting. we're, we're going to see. And it sounds like he's got some serious... Play, uh, play style. Oh, so I hate it, to have to buy be... new tune, but because you know me and support do so well. When uh, I play yeah, support, you, I mean you I'm play support. Your I'm the guys. greatest support player in league. You're, you're the say. greatest support player that lets ADCs die. <laughs> <laughs> That's hey, I'm good at what I do. I'm good at. Uh, letting... We also had we also had patch 5.12 land this week. Um, all I really know about it is that let uh, AP jungle champions be more effective, um, yeah. but uh, let's talk about our uh, lolesports.com, which yes. is, um, we have the EU, EU LCS happen on Thursday and Friday, and we had an upset where SK Gaming upset H2K and knocked them down a peg. Really? Um, so yeah, so Fnatic is still 10-0, and 0. Orange, Origin is still 8-2, and 2, but H2K drops to 7-3 and 3 after this last week. Um, hmm. Then we have the NA LCS. Uh, there's a big match uh, this week between Team Liquid and Counter Logic Gaming. Uh, Team Liquid <sighs> took that one. So, wow. So we That's... now have a three way tie for first in yeah. the NA LCS after today. Uh, That's a CLG bit of an upset. Did... I mean, I know. Well, it's not really an upset because they're um, CLG 7 and 2, Team Liquid 6 and 3. It's, they're not that far well, off. Team yeah. Liquid's a top team right now. I know, but I didn't think they'd. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. So you got CLG, Dignitas, TSM, all seven and two. Gravity and Liquid, a game behind at six and three. It's really close. Cloud Nine's even up to four and five. They're only three games out. Yep. Anything can happen in the next. I mean, we're ha- we're exactly halfway through the split right now as of today. Yeah, so. that it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. Now, for my other two hosts, of course, Lorna, Dean. Um, this is our football, as you guys can Pretty see. Pretty much, yeah, is, absolutely. Yeah. I, we love League of Legends, so it's a lot of fun. But it, it's not uh, obvious in any way that you love this. No, <laughs> not in any way. Uh, so, Ron, do we have anything else, or that's the news? All right, fantastic. So, let's press on, of course, to my second favorite part of this podcast. What the fuck are you playing? Okay, wow. so I don't know. I had to throw it out there, man. I'm improvising. Fuck it. We'll do it live. We'll do it live. Okay. Please, please don't do it live. Nobody wants to see that. <laughs> Lorda, um, what we do, of, um, well, you've been here for this, but um, what have you been playing recently? I'm really addicted to, um, I think it's only on Apple products, but it's a game called Crazy Kings, and it's a, um, you know, you have the little turret, there's a special word for it, but you have to forgive me, it's like quarter to five in the morning. I know it. You have to protect um, your land from people that come along and kill it. Tower defense. Uh, yes, yeah, that's the tower word. Defense. There you go. <laughs> but it, it, it's getting... really cute. It is only yeah, on Apple. 
It is a little oh, Alan, it? but the but the uh, the art style's really, like she says, really cute, cartoony. Interesting. And there's also the the Fallout one, which is just really addictive. Yeah, I was gonna bring that one up too. Fallout you, you, is very good. You go ahead with that. I do have an iPad. Um, well, we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, Dino, what have you been playing, man? Other than, of course, uh, WoW. Star Wars: The Old Republic. Really, getting back into it. I I never left, man. What you talking well, about? Oh, dude, I did. I couldn't do it. Um, so, what's your take on the new that's coming out? The the expansion. Oh, it'll be different. I'm glad to get that Bioware's getting back into the whole uh, quest thing that they've done with every other game they've made. I'm kind of excited to see how the story progresses. And well, what about the whole sick thing? Because I know that was a big thing that they talked about in E3. Three is more cinematic, more you know, like uh, Skyrim and all of our other games. It's you're, a Bioware project. Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Anything else? Other than those? Not for me. No? Okay. Well, like Lorna said, of course, um, I, I, as, as soon as they announced it at e, E3, they released it as soon as Bethesda was done. They dropped this Fallout game on the iPad. Now, I have been carrying this little... So be with me. Come on. Ugh, of course, my iPad. Um, I love Fallout Shelter. It, it's weird because generally I hate these kind of micromanagement games. Um, it's it's a lot of fun. Um, it's free. Um, I have two shelters that I'm running right now, and depending on your luck, you might get a whole bunch of what they're lunch boxes. They give you these cards, and the cards give you your items or whatever. Um, one of my faults gets a ton of these, and the other one I've got nothing. So that's kind of weird, but it, it's it's a fantastic game. So I've been playing that while I hate to say it at work, um, but uh oh, I, yeah. Every, who's who's about, your employer? Because we're gonna ban them from the channel for a while. <laughs> about every five minutes, I turn to my iPad, do a little stuff in my vault, and then I go back to work. Nice job. Um, so I've been playing. The, um, like I said earlier, I've been playing the shit out of Batman. Now that I finally have. Arkham Knight working. It's uh, an amazing game. Um, and then, of course, World of Warcraft. Man, I, I love, love Wraith's new, uh, new patch. It's great. But, yeah, that's me. Uh, Pent, how about you, good sir, Mr. I Hate League? Uh, I well, I don't plenty. know League. Yeah. yeah, I played a little bit. It's just not my thing. Right. Uh, I am uh, playing South Park still. About Ooh. probably five hours in, so probably about halfway. That's a brilliant uh, game. Still work my way through Witcher. <coughs> and uh Witcher two. Two? Yeah. And uh I haven't even started into the behemoth that is Witcher three. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've heard. And I've been playing some WoW, uh trying out the new patch before I cancel my subscription. So <laughs> Well you don't have don't to do cancel that. the subscription now. I mean all you gotta you, do is get some gold and your gold. Yeah, yeah, it's not like he no. doesn't have the gold to do it. I can buy. Morna, I I don't know if you guys know, but Penth here is gold capped. Like that was his whole mission. Yeah, but is he this... going to give up this gold to buy a subscription? Is that really going to happen? He clings uh... onto it so tight. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. See, now you're on. Now you're on the line here. Yeah. No, I I can buy like two months before I dip under a cap, which I'm not going to do. So. Yeah, but will you? That's the question. Will you buy two months? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy the tokens and let them sit in my inventory, and then, uh, like, if I ever want to come back, I'll use those to play. Interesting. I think that once you act uh, buy the tokens off the auction house, it automatically goes to time on your game. Though I don't think you can I mean, just let them sit. Can I'll you? have to look. I think you have to. I think you have to use the item, but oh, maybe okay. not. It would make uh, sense. It, and I, I read something about it, but they may have changed it, so... Also, look, you can't resell it, but I think you, no, you can can't. choose when to activate it. Interesting. Mr. Gold Capped, I hate you. I, I've, I've made about 20 gold since I <laughs> last talked. <laughs> I, 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 I sold some glyphs, and then I, I haven't reposted my stuff. I basically stored it all <laughs> in my guild bank that I use for uh, gold goblining storage. That's amazing. I can't believe it. <laughs> Who do we got left? Ron! 
How about you, good sir? Well, obviously 6.2 patch. Um, yes. I'm not going to talk too much about that because since we talked so much about it already. But uh, Hearthstone. Uh, I only talk about this because I got my third straight card back. Oh, nice. Hashtag uninstalled. I quit. <laughs> I'm terrible. Yeah, I'm, I'm not that great either, but I did get a three-game <laughs> win, uh, three-game run in earlier this week to get me the card back. So, well, there um, you go. and then aside from that, uh, I pretty much injured myself playing Descent this week. So there you go. Um, I did not play League of Legends this past week. I just didn't. I was not up to it. So yeah. I just said, "Fuck it." Yo, no, ne- I know no it. necro yeah. dancing. No necro dancing either. Um, wow. I, just, I haven't. I haven't had time. Really? I've been working Wait. on. I, I'm working on a, a, a Descent Three server management software, uh, so um, that's taken up a lot of my time. <sighs> and of course, wow! I mean, wow! I mean, my God, wow! <laughs> yeah. So much to do right now. Yeah. There, so it really is. Just I. I don't know. I, I can't get over the fact that you still play a game that ended in what, like 1995? It was released in '95, correct? The third the third game was released in '99. <laughs> the next game, of course, will be released next year. Right. Which is still on Kickstarter. Or did that finish? That what? Passed. That passed. Oh, Dean didn't hear about that. I did not. I'm... Yeah, the new just Google Machine Gun got funded. Well, I'm going to post this. DescendantStudios.com is uh, uh, they're ha- they're making something called Descent Underground, which is going to be a prequel to the original series. Oh, it'll probably be about the actual like mining. This yeah, they'll be mining, but they'll also be the, the original anarchy and stuff like that. And and this is why we bring you guys on the show. We love bringing new news. So I'm I'm glad you found a new obsession, Dean. Yep. Hey, I remember playing Descent when I was a wee lad. I never oh, yeah. played it. I people I just still it? play it. I can't do it. A lot of the people I play with have been playing since ninety five. I I've been playing since ninety five. We had we had two forty six computers that we networked together with a single LAN cable and played TCPIP multiplayer. See, we were too busy playing uh, what, uh, uh, freaking Doom and and um. Uh, what was it? Uh, Duke Nukem and stuff like that. Like that was our my groups, my friends' little focus, if you will. But anyway, yep. all right. So that does it for our gaming section. Now this is our interesting little debate section that we like to call the Six Gaming Roundtable. So every week we bring up a new topic, uh, usually presented by one of our hosts, occasionally by you guys, our listeners. Um, Now, Mr. Pentherian over here um, had an interesting topic that I thought we should discuss. So the table is yours. Um, It's just something that that came up when I was talking to the show this week. Is during the summer sale, uh, they had that game, the idle game. And when you play, when you start a new game each day, you got a card. And you could craft the cards into your badge or whatever. And it's, I, I mean, it's a thing that's been on Steam for a while. Yeah, um, and I just want to kind of talk about, um, sort of. Do you do you do things to try to get the badges? Like, do you play a game specifically to get the cards and then to make the badges? Would you pay extra money to make the badges, or do you think it's just a silly side? Like, what what do you think the point of it is? Do you think they make extra sales because they have it? Like, right. what? Do you think that it adds value to the to the games and to the Steam uh, Steam environment? Well, okay. So for me, because you know, you uh, what I did was I I have all these cards that I had just sitting around from stuff that I've done, you know, playing games under Steam or you know, buy on their sales. I don't know what the hell these cards do. I I don't care. Like that was just. I literally had no idea what they were for other than just sitting in my inventory. So I gave them all to Pent. <laughs> you know? Fuck it. I, I, they don't mean anything to me. Uh, but that's that's that. Now, it, it's interesting to bring this up, though, because I have certainly found myself um, more consumed with, I guess you could call them uh, sub-games, if you will. You know, games within the game or little stuff to do. Um, I have found myself doing that. Um, A good example was uh, Fable. Like, I would find myself 
playing all these stupid games in, in Fable, like they had little card games and dice games and stuff like that in the Fable games, I would do that. I wouldn't play the missions. I, I wanted to go to these taverns and do that. Uh, and I've certainly given up a lot of my time to do that. Uh, I, I guess it, for me, it just kind of depends. Like, if it it's a part of a game, I think I always like to take and be a part of something, even if it is brief. Um, but like Steam itself, to me, isn't a game. So why do I care about these cards? That 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 was my vision. Game and Collection Simulator 2015. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, right. <laughs> Pretty much. So, um, Dino, what do you think, man? What what's your take on this whole thing? For the cards, I was going to use them to eventually get up to a high enough level I could get booster packs on it automatically every week and then sell them back and make more money and I can get games for free eventually. Right. I mean, you could actually make real money off of these Steam cards. Yeah. If you sell them. Wait, really? Yeah. 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 You right-click right right. on the card, I believe is what you do. Let me yep. Look. Booster yeah, I think it's right you can sell it. One Most game. of them are like okay. six cents, eight cents. Yeah, yeah but I mean, you yeah, get I'm a couple... You get to a high enough level, and you get all the car, your max amount of cards every week. You can just sell them. That's six so, eight cents a week that you're yeah. getting for free. No, so far I is, have not gotten any free, even though it says that I'm eligible for. Uh, it says I'm what, eligible for stuff. Yeah, but what level are you? Is what actually matters though, too. Is it? What? what yes. How's that? No, I'm uh, fourteen. There was a, <laughs> yeah, there was a breakdown, but I don't remember what the breakdown is. Um, let me see. There's a read the fact. Uh, well, let's see. Level 10, you get a 20% increase in drop for the levels. 20 is a 40% increase in drop. 30 is 60% increase. 40, 80% increase. And level 50, you get a card no matter what. I'll have to check that out. Let's yeah. If you, if you go to, uh, let's see, go to your profile, hit uh, badges, or I think it's badges. Profile. Yeah, hit badges Probably and badges. then right on the on the right hand side of where your level is, hit read the fact. There you go. Ah, okay. Interesting. Cool. So this is Steam are giving out some kind of card in Steam. Right. Yeah, right. Like little so, collector cards. So I just what? got three no, new, new cards no, in back. <laughs> No, I couldn't. I, I have no interest in that whatsoever. Why? Well, okay, you so you and I are on the same page, Lorna. That how even do you even my create break? a booster pack, though? I don't even, I don't you, even see you how that's... You use works. gems to make booster packs, and you how can do you get gems? gems by breaking well, down cards that you don't want. Right, right so it's similar, it's similar to, like, enchanting in WoW. You have to take something whole, and like a card, and you break it down, and you get gems. And then you use those gems to create new cards. Like, to me, I'm, eh, I've already got an enchanter in WoW. I don't, I don't want to <laughs> play this game. You know, yeah. it's not my thing. Yeah, when I when I realized that you could only get a certain number of them just for playing, and it's not enough to get the badge, I'm like, why bother? Yeah. See, I don't know. Like, I didn't understand the levels. I didn't understand making the booster pack, so uh, like I said, I probably and and Penti, you know, I'm putting you on the line here. I, did I even give away anything valuable? I probably did. I, I no, when, no I, when I looked through, it was it was the same. It was just like six cents, eight cents, whatever. Like okay, probably stuff. two dollars, three dollars worth of stuff. And it's like okay, well, during a Steam sale, I could buy one game if yeah. I sold them all. But it, I'm I'm not going to. I'm going to try to craft badges. No, I, I know I sent you a bunch of gems, but um, I think my record was like cents was the most I've ever sent on Steam. So I I don't know if that's a lot. You know what I mean? And here's my question. Who the hell is buying these cards? I have never seen an interface in Steam to go and browse and buy there's these the, cards. There's the community market. And you can. Uh... You're that guy. Yeah, I wanted a badge. <laughs> well, that's that's wow. the thing is is the reason people buy the cards is so they can make the badge. They don't buy the cards to collect the cards. Oh, you can get the no, cards sure. so that you can make the badge. No, and that's like, one oh, thing and I you can actually. I I've got a foil card of the yeah. Riddler that I'm keeping because it just it looks cool to me. 
there's no other oh my reason. God, other some that. of these cards are going for four hundred dollars. Wait, yeah. which what? Cards? <laughs> Where have you guys been? What? Oh my God. <laughs> like, <laughs> I can't, can't believe this right now. Four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars. <laughs> the I the most I even, expensive game on Steam. I don't still recognize. Like Steve I don't recognize any of the games that these are for. No, uh, Tails Runner, uh, the Stalin Subway. You know, um, honestly though, Reversi. There's one for Reversi. Well, but here's the thing. Wait, you can I make Reversi cards. If if there if you're the only one listing, like if if it's some like really uh, obscure game, and you're the only one sure. listing. So you can set the price. You're the only person listening, so you put up whatever price you want. Now someone else comes in and undercuts you, and now... Yeah, free market. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I know Steam has an option for you to, to link games that are not on Steam, right? So um, let's say I buy some DOS-based game, a uh, key enough GOG, but I can put it in Steam so that while I'm in that Steam interface, the game... They don't make cards for that, no, do they? It has it, to be a Steam game to get these cards. And not not even every Steam game has it either. Like it doesn't arbitrarily generate cards. The people who make the game the game have to say we want cards associated with this. Right. So I'm just well because Ron said you know these are these really obscure random games. I'm trying to put in my head, okay, what games do I not know about? You know what I mean, like. What are they making cards for that aren't popular or otherwise well known? There's also a bunch of uh, TF2 and Dota 2 items on on the marketplace. Yeah, but those are items that you actually get to use with the game. That's true. Right. Yeah, I, and that's I'm, a little. I'm different. not paying attention to those. I'm just. Yeah. Crazy though. I mean, geez, what what am I missing out on? <laughs> Apparently, you should check your. Really, Dean's our expert here. Mr. <laughs> Mr. I've got everything. Hey, man, I got bored when I was in Saudi. I figured out a lot of crazy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. Lorna, do you have any interest now, or are you still on my side? Not in the slightest. Okay. I, there's, there's not enough time in the day for this kind of thing. <laughs> exactly. That's my thing, is that this, this seems you. very time-consuming and probably not yeah. worth but it, it it's a game in and of itself. You know what I mean? It is its own thing. Like, let's say you hate tower defense, so you know nothing about tower defense, and you could care less. To me, that's kind of the same thing. You know? Or yeah. am I wrong here? No, I will. Not. I am willing to donate whatever I have to the pen pence hoarder. <laughs> yes. Going over there. I will. I will take your cards. Pence is going to win just off wait, based wait, off wait, of wait, now. I'll take a few. Come on, don't be. And and that's just it. Do you know if if I knew you were into this? Because de- okay, so for those of you guys who don't know, Dean and I have been friends for years, years and years and years. Right? We've known each other. If I would have known you stupid cards, I hate to say it, Penth, I would have given Dean. I I would have had to. Man, there's loyalty. It's okay. You know, <laughs> hey, it's all good, yo. I just like giving you crap, bro. Yeah, <laughs> I, I kind of feel bad now. That's all right though, because honestly, Penth, you're still a friend of mine, man, and I I, I love having you around. So you better I'm happy to help. <laughs> so all right. So anybody else? Let's let's move on to our closing statement. So that's the thing that we want you guys to leave with our audience. Okay. So um, yeah, who wants to go? For, who who's got something that they want to say? ATR wow. Radeon Fury X. Yes. Go. <laughs> Excellent. Anybody else? All right. Not, no, no AD fans oh. here? <laughs> I, I'm starting to Just... like him more and more. Like I said earlier, I think you missed it. AMD did get me back into Batman because they released a beta patch. So thank you, AMD. Love you guys. I, I just have so. to say that Descent Hurts. <laughs> do, did I miss what yeah, you did? Do, <laughs> yeah. Do, please don't hurt yourself playing Descent. Ron, you're going to have to describe. Did I, you get I, a geek injury? I got a geek <laughs> injury. 
I, I, I dodged a homing missile and I was doing chair dodging, which of course works. You do realize what chair dodging is, right? Yeah. Yeah, it of <laughs> course works. And I hurt myself doing that. <laughs> which is amazing, by the way. I don't think I've done that since I was probably seven. But, you know. <laughs> Come on, it works, right. man. It's, it's, but it's, it's very similar to when my mother was playing, like, Super Mario. You know, and tilt the controller when he's trying to jump. You know, like, mm-hmm. come on, dude, that works too. Oh, what's talking about? That, that, that like, works. That totally works, apparently. So. Yeah, it does. <laughs> All right, it works Pat. even better on the Wii and Wii U. Right? <laughs> at, at one of my business meetings, so we have uh, uh, one of our products, when you when you plug it in, it's got, like, a, a long circuit edge with a bunch of contacts, and you plug it into the machine, <coughs> and it registers, like, which handpiece you've plugged in. So it sets up, like, if you're in the OR, and you plug it in, then it, like, it knows what RPM to run it at and stuff. And, uh, like, it wasn't working. I was like, have you tried doing this? That's and awesome. I tried it, and it worked. Nintendo <laughs> throwback for the win. I got a friend of mine who told me to put ice on it and take a pill, girly man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. You just deserve it. Very well done. Awesome. Anyone else, or is it my turn? All, all, all I have to say to that, all I have to say to that is, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> of course. All right. Anybody else got anything, or? No, I'm good. I'm, 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 the, the geek injury just killed my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to say it, but that really does kind of win. So all I've all I've got to say is, I right, I am Batman. Okay, that was terrible. But seriously, Harley Quinn, where the fuck are you? Why have I not seen you in five hours of gameplay? This is bullshit. She's stalking you. She's stalking you. I will find you. I will find my sweetheart. She will find you first. She'll see you later, By Bex. the way, um, Mr. J. If, if you, Mr. Guys, J. you guys tuned in, I, I got to... Hold on, bear with Uh-oh. me. Uh-oh. Bear with Uh-oh. me. Oh, oh my uh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, where, where, oh. Where, oh. oh there it is. My Harley There Quinn. it is. There's my baby. She sits over oh. my computer all right the time. Next to us and, of course, the next. tick. If you guys don't know the tick, for shame. Spoon. Right? Thank you, thank you. Someone who knows the tech. Greatest cartoon ever. Anyway, that's all I got. Joe, do you do you pretend she's talking to you when she says Mr. J? Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> the thing is, there's something... My first name's Jacob, of course. No, I... <laughs> There's something, though, I hate to say it because I absolutely hate the East Coast. I'm sorry if you live on the East Coast, but I, I hate... I hate the East Coast. Anything east of the Mississippi, you guys can go fucking die in a fire. I, <laughs> and I have had a lot of bad experiences on the East Coast. Just putting it out there. Anyway. That's a lot of people to hate. There is something there I mean, really like is. like the president. I mean. I know, but uh, go fuck yourselves. But there is something about that Harley Quinn act that gets me all the time. I love that. Oh, Harley. You'd be my second wife. I swear. Jeez. Oh, anyway. Well, that's me not going to bed then now, isn't it, really? <laughs> <laughs> so, Lord, that the next time you're sleeping, me and her, Harley Quinn, and nightmares, guaranteed. Okay. So, so, so your wife says um, that if you had to rank items, it would be one, beer, two, your computer, three, okay. your dog, and four, her. <laughs> I think she missed Harley Quinn in there. She did miss Harley Quinn. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with her. She knows better. This was in our wedding vows. <laughs> no, I'm 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 actually kidding. Okay, okay please, good. No. That's okay. so funny though. No, my wedding vows were handwritten, but that was no. Anyway, when you're brave, <laughs> right? I'm probably gonna get my ass chewed as soon as I hit stop broadcast. Um, Largely because of what I've been facing again, with her. These are, right. these are very personal things that you need to not talk about on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> what hey, which I, goes on between you and your wife is, I, and, I, a three, and a three-year-old is none and, of our business. Yeah, so let's not talk about the three-year-old. Three-year-old, but a uh, three-year-old. Uh, all right. well, 
you missed the beginning of the, the show. But yeah, we, me and we, the three of us are like, the show. Sweaty looking and stuff. <laughs> this, this what, dude, we need to end now <laughs> before the cops show up at your place. I, I, I was chasing the three year old for like three hours. Dude, so now we're done. <laughs> so, the podcast. With the, that, thank you guys for coming. Of course, this has been the Six Gaming Podcast. I am your host, as always, Shosan. With me, a very illustrious cast, Mr. Pentherian. This is just a disclaimer. If you are a pot, if you are a cop, please watch the beginning of this podcast. That wouldn't help either, <laughs> right, <laughs> Mister <laughs> Mister Spryer himself, Dean. He's kind of waving. <laughs> the creepy stare. Heck yeah, that's all I got, bro. <laughs> Our very pretty arms town there. <laughs> Oh, that's so creepy. I, of course, our very favorite British Murloc, Miss Lauren, whose I'm favorite metal bleach. is? <laughs> I'm going to go bleach my brain. And your favorite metal is, of Good course. Luck. Of course. What's your favorite Find metal? me alone! <laughs> Find it's aluminum, me. right? Go, go take some vitamins. Our co-host with a... Wrapped in aluminum. ...companion yes. cube behind him. Mr. Ron Clay. I am not chill. Finally, of course, again, I am Shosan. We will see you guys next week, of course, every Saturday at 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. We love you guys in the Six Gaming Podcast. Ron Clay, take it away. Ow. Uh, see you, bye. <laughs> <laughs>